Hey what's up guys, so in this video I'm going to show you the best tech under $200. So for all of the products I will find the cheapest link and put it in the description box below. So without any further delay, let's get on to the tech. So the first tech here is Mi Pad 2. Mi Pad 2 is a great tablet which provides premium build and fast performance all at around $150. By comparison its direct rival iPad Mini 4 cost $400. There are very few corners cut here. The display is 1536 by 2018, giving it a pixel density of 326, which is same as of iPad mini 4. The display is also pleasant to look at, with saturated colors and great viewing angles. The body is very similar to iPad mini with metal unibody design and it's very thin at 7mm. This thinness and metals makes it feel premium in the hand. Inside resides an Intel Atom X5 D8500 CPU which has 4 cores clocked at 2.24 GHz along with 2 gigs of RAM. This is enough to provide smooth experience throughout. The animations are fast but sometimes you can notice slight delays. The battery here is 6190 mAh so you can expect 6 hours of screen on time which can be extended if power saver mode is turned on. The only downside here is the software. It's not bad, it's still running Android 5.1 with MIUI. MIUI has great software features but due to ignorance from Xiaomi, it's limiting this tablet to become among the best. You can also choose between Windows and Android version, but in a tablet this size, Windows will not be a great choice. Next up, we have Master and Dynamics ME05. So ME05 are another pair of earphones that looks and sounds great. Many people refer to Master and Dynamics as fashion oriented, which is true, but they are also very serious about the quality of audio their product delivers. The ME05 are made out of solid brass, which puts it in the luxurious category. And in terms of aesthetics, it's better than plastic or aluminium. Brass is also a good choice for earphones as it is very dense which helps to isolate vibrations. And these are very easy to put on and are very comfortable to wear for longer periods. The weight is perfectly balanced. The cord is also tangle free which is great to have. The only downside here is that the volume controls do not work with Android. In terms of sound quality, the bass is subtle. It's not going to rule over other frequencies. It's quick and punchy. The main focus is mid here. Vocals and guitar blends in well and feels natural. The sound stays is good, but it's not wide because it's an in-ear headphone. Overall, it's a great headphone, but at $200, it's at the expensive side but you do get a high quality audio which looks and feels great. Next up we have Aftershocks Trix Titanium. I tried these at CES 2017. This earphone uses bone conducting which sends vibrations through thick bones and the sound is processed in our inner ear. The main focus here is to be able to hear outside while listening to some music. Sort of like open ear headphones. When you put these on, it will feel different than normal earphones. And at higher volumes, it feels like the side of the head is being tickled. It feels kinda strange in the beginning, the sound seems to be coming from a speaker right beside you, making you able to hear outside noise. You will get used to it just after a couple of songs though. Just like open ear headphones, sound quality is compromised. The bass is flatty and overall the sound lacks energy, but it's not meant to be an audiophile earphone but rather for outdoor uses while cycling and running. And these earphones do not fall easily and will stay on your head during longer period of use. Next we have a Zool Byte Plus. So this is a fanless mini desktop PC. It's a compact size PC which is great for TVs. You can use it with an external monitor though it has HDMI and DVI outputs. 
and inside there's Intel Cherry Trail quad core CPU which is clocked from 1.44 GHz up to 1.84 GHz which isn't high end but for normal use and streaming video it's a good fit. There's 4 gigs of RAM inside along with 32 GB of storage for us to use. So here you can stream in full HD across all platforms as it's a window machine. You will be able to get apps for any content service out there like Netflix, Hulu and this mini PC will also be able to play small games which can be fun to play with family. That's all about this video guys. Hope you guys found some great products and if you know of any other do let me know in the comment section below. And do subscribe for more videos and if you are interested do watch my other videos like best android themes also linked below in the description box. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.